Hello everyone. I'm going to give a demonstration of the Zeus Smart TV box for those of you who are looking to get one of these boxes or those of you who have one and uh, just want to know how to use it a little bit better. For the sake of time, I'm going to breeze through this as fast as possible, focusing on some of the main features uh, and the most popular features of this box. Um, everything else, you're most likely going to have to just kind of play with it, get to know your box, see what things are in them, uh, what apps they have, and customize it um, to yourself. First thing I'll show you is when you get your box, plug it in, it's going to be your settings. You're going to want to hook up your internet to the box by one of two ways, either through Wi-Fi or by Ethernet. Once you do that, click here to My Apps. You're going to scroll down to Speed Test. This is going to be one of the most important things uh, that you have to do during your setup. Once you click on Speed Test, <clears throat> you're gonna have to test the speed of your internet. Now there's two ways that you can navigate throughout this box. One, hook up a USB to the box and uh, have a wireless keyboard and mouse, or two, use the remote. In order to get this cursor on the remote, all you do is click uh, the cursor button, navigate it with the arrows to remove it, click the curs cursor button again. You're gonna begin the test. Now, things to look for is, you're gonna want a speed of at least, I would say, seven to eight megabytes per second um, on your speed in order for it to work properly. If it's anything less, you're going to most likely get uh, buffering on your movies and shows. It's going to get frustrating. You're going to probably not want to use the box very much. Um, as you can see, my speed's fairly quick. If yours is not, there's two things you can do. If you already know that you have a fast internet speed, then what you can do is... Um, put your Wi-Fi or put the box closer to the Wi-Fi. If it's on the other side of the house, then you can go to Best Buy or Fry's Electronics, get you either a uh, Wi-Fi booster or a power line converter that converts your Wi-Fi into an Ethernet that you can plug right into the back of your box. Once you do that, then you can move forward. So the first thing we're going to do is here to Cody, go into the software. I'm going to show you each category, uh, make it very brief. You have your folders here, weather, music, movies, TV shows, kids place, sports, live TV, search, add-ons, and system. You have all your folders here. All these below are your subfolders. Okay, we're going to start off with the first one, which is very simple, weather. You're going to see here in Los Angeles, you get a five-day forecast, 84 degrees, it's beautiful out. Next, you got mu music. I'm going to show you a couple things here. Again, these are the most popular apps you're going to use, so they're set up here. Uh, you can scroll a little bit, play around with it a little bit here, but chances are you're going to be right back here. Pandora, if you have an account, just set up your username and password. Now you can listen to Pandora music while you're cleaning or when you have people over. If you want to look at videos, click here on Vivo, and you can search. I'll show you one quickly. Videos... Uh, look at the categories that you have. Let's do rap, hip hop. Uh, more categories viewed most last week, of all time, most recent. Let's do of all time. And it's going to give you a list to choose from. Um, let's just do this one Jay Z um, with Kanye. You'll see it's a pretty good quality. As the video pops up, you'll see that the category. The, uh, play, fast forward, you can kind of use this stuff to kind of navigate through it. You see the video is pretty clear. I'm fast forwarding it now just to give you an idea. I don't have any sound on this right now because I don't want it to interfere with the video. But as you can see, here's your video. Alright, and you have really good quality. It's in HD. This is... Uh, not the best quality that I'm recording on, but on your TV and uh, computer, it's going to be in HD. You can leave it running and go search for other things, or you can close it completely. For example, I'm going to back out of here. I can go all the way back to the beginning while leaving the video on. If you ever want to shut it off, all you have to do is click onto the screen and hit stop. That's music. Movies run similar. You have your search. You can always search right here by clicking on Search Genesis and just typing in what you're looking for. You have genres, 
box office hits, most popular, latest HD, Oscar winners coming soon. This is going to be your library right here to Genesis Movies. <clears throat> you have all your little categories. I'll show you a couple things in here. Search again. Uh, we'll pick one. I'll just go... Let's look up Minority Report, only because I looked that one up recently and watched it. One of the old movies that I kind of like, I've always liked. So you can pull up old movies, new movies, TV shows. Here's your Minority Report. Okay, We're going to back out of that and go to a category that a lot of people like also is the in theaters. Just to give you a little feedback on this, in theaters doesn't always mean that you're going to get the movies that are right out in the theaters with great quality. All right. Uh, for example, Pixels and Southpaw were in July of 2015. They're not out yet. All right. Even though the link is here, you, they, it may actually be a trailer if you click on it. When it does come out, it may not be the best quality. You might find one that is. Chances are it won't. Or if you do, you might find uh, a feed that has Chinese subtitles because it just got intercepted through uh, China or was released in China. Uh, Ted 2 has been out for a few months, so we'll click on that just to give you an idea. Um, there's a couple things you can do here. You can save it to your library. I'll show you in a, in a few minutes, and you can watch that later. Um, some movies, you'll click on it, and it'll actually give you multiple links in high quality, medium quality, and low quality. Obviously, everybody chooses the high quality, um, but it'll give you multiple links. If you click on some of them, or you click on, click on autoplay, which you'll see as you're playing around the box, then it'll find the right one for you. In this situation, it found it for us. Click through. Movie's going to start. Um, and that's how you can watch it that way. Okay? Um, like I said, some will be very clean. Some will be uh, what may have subtitles and, and what have you. Another thing you could do here is if you aren't ready to watch it yet, let's just say we just found that. We're going to watch a movie later with the wife. Uh, but I wanted to get a good feed and find out a good movie for us to watch later. I could take this, hit the menu button, add it to the library, back out, and click on the main folder movies. Here's Ted 2 in my library. Okay, so your library is going to be in the main folder. And you can remove them the same way. Menu and remove them. Alright? <clears throat> TV shows. Works the same way. Uh, you got your search. Genres, most popular, highly rated, recent episodes, channels, Genesis TV, searches pretty much the same way. Um, you can add them to your favorites. In here, I've already added The Bachelorette to the favorites. If you click on that, you see all your seasons. Latest one was season 11. Click on that. You can tell by the date what episode you got. The most recent episode was the one on the 20th. We'll click on that. And it pops up the same way. This replaces your DVR. Um, any show that you can think of, I've yet to find, I've yet to search for a show that I wasn't able to find on here. I'm not saying you can, it won't happen, but I, I, I yet to have that happen to me. Um, again, TV shows on DVR, I don't have to take up my DVR space any longer because all episodes are always going to be here. It updates itself. If there was a 12th episode, which is obviously the season's over, then it would pop up here on its own. You wouldn't have to go reset anything. <clears throat> Sometimes the updating takes place while you're watching something. It could slow it down. Um, this one failed to play for some reason. Don't know why that is, but we'll try it again, and it should pop up. You do have things that happen like that every once in a while. It's just a little glitch, and you can't always control it. Sometimes you may have to back out, go back in. Um, it's not perfect, but for the most part, it's pretty close. Um, you clean out your library the same way, add to your library. Once it's done, you can add, mark it as watched. That way it keeps track for you. And then you can remove it when you're done with it as well. Um, it looks like it's running a little slow. So let's try this. I'm going to go to system here. And if you notice, we're at 79% memory use. That could be a good reason why the thing isn't popping up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's a good time to show you this feature. On the remote, grab the menu button, click it, and hold it. You're going to see a spaceship appear. And now it's going to tell me to improve my performance by 88%. You can also delete your catch right here. And that'll clean it up a little bit. Let's go back and see if that helped. TV shows. Bachelorette. 
Season 12, The Men Tell All. Now it's working in again. And we should get an episode popping up here for The Bachelorette. Now, as you saw, there are little glitches in the system sometimes. But again, sometimes you just got to either go clear that out, clean it up a little bit, back out, start over. It can happen with shows. It can happen with movies. It can happen uh, with sports. And as you can see, that fixed the issue. So that was actually a good thing that, that just happened. So you can see how to fix it. We're going to close out of here. And I'm going to take you to the last two that we're going to go over, which are the most popular ones. Actually, this is kids, Disney Junior, cartoons. Once the kids learn how to use this, they kind of like this little area. The most popular ones here also are sports and live TV. I'll go over sports first. I'm only going to cover a couple. I'll cover baseball with you and cover fights. Uh, if you like soccer, when American football season comes around, this is where you're going to want to go. So for baseball, for example... I like to go here, go straight down to live sports, click on this. You have categories here, but I go right to live sports. Um, here are some good links. H A T D H E net is a good one for fights on the day of the fight. First row sports .ge is good for baseball. Ellis Hunter is a good one. VIP box is a good one. You can find replays of old fights on, on any of these, but those are the main ones. For baseball, first row sports .ge. Uh, again, I'll show you this quickly. UFC, here's some old fights. There's nothing on today, but you have old fights here. Uh, baseball, you'll click on baseball. Um, again, we're here in July. I know that the Asian Giants are playing today, so let's click on them. <clears throat> uh, you got one, link one, two, and three for the Giants. Red Sox are also playing today. We'll try click on first link. Now you got three different links. One may not work. Then you just move over to the second one or move over to the third one. One of them shows. So this one does not work. Link two, we'll click on that one. And usually one out of the three is going to work for you. If you don't like the feed on link two, you can always back up and try the link on uh, the feed on link three. Sorry if I said that incorrectly, but as you can see, A's and Giants, third inning. Um, Score zero zero, decent quality. It's not the HD that you would get if it was on TV. But if you're a Dodger fan and you don't have Time Warner, you can't watch the games anyway. This is a good place to watch them. I'm gonna back out of here. And again, uh, one thing I'll show you is for fights that I like to do. If I miss a fight or I mix a bo miss a boxing match, I like to go over here to Fox Sports. I mean, I'm sorry, Phoenix Sports. Click on that. Phoenix TV, sports, sports replays, and I got UFC, boxing, WWE, click on UFC, and here's your old UFCs in case you missed them, uh, Rousey, Zagano, Silva, Diaz, Lawler, Hendricks 2, and you'll also find the live feed if the fight is on that day. So. Out of this entire section here, um, I haven't even gone through everything. You might find a really great feed. You might find better feeds on the day of the fight. Um, keep in mind that if there's a fight on and it's a big fight, there's a lot of people that are going to be watching this, so it could slow down the system. It's not the box. It's that the, the connection that everybody is on is slowing down because of the amount of people on it. Lastly, what I'm going to show you is live TV. I'm going to close this out here. For those of you that don't have cable... This is a good thing for you to watch. Right here we got the TV Guide, which is connected right here to Live TV, and all TV channels. If you want to go look for an individual channel, you can go here, or you can just click, click on here, and it'll take you right to the TV Guide. TV Guide will pop up. I'm only going to show you a few. These are all British channels here, but as you scroll up, you'll find other channels as well. Uh, here's your HBOs. <clears throat> we'll click on one of these, Breaking and Entering. Not really sure what show that is or movie, but <clears throat> you'll see it pop up here in a second. And there's the HBO movie. 
All right, you'll see a little uh, brightness on the left side of the screen here. That's just because I got a, a window with sun coming through behind me. Um, something else you might want to know here is Die Hard 4 is on HD uh, TNT HD. If you click on this, it's going to give you three streams here to choose from. That means it's on three different feeds. You're going to want to click on IPTV every time. Once you do it once, you'll never have to do it again. All right, and once you do that, then um, here's your Die Hard 4.0. Great quality. And in this situation, looks like it might not be the right one, but that happens sometimes. Okay. All these channels here, some are going to work, some aren't. You might want to click on, for example, you start clicking through these. You start getting to the food channel, Nat Geo. This may not be the right one. It may be off a little bit. It, uh, there's, uh, for Nat Geo, for example, West Coast, uh, East Coast, Midwest, and it could just be on the wrong um, time zone. But for the most part, it's an excellent place to go if you don't have cable. I'm not saying it will replace your cable, but that's going to be your call. Other than that, that's pretty much it when it comes to movies, TV, um, the, the Kodi software itself. Uh, there are a few other features on this that I'll show you really quick. Don't forget that this now turns your TV, your regular TV, into a smart TV. So you can always go back and utilize some of the apps that are, are on the box. For example, um, you have Facebook. You can hook your email up to it. Um, you have YouTube. Click on YouTube. And it's the same YouTube that's on the internet. You can sign in under your own name. You can sign in as a guest. Pick what shows you like. Um, videos you like go from there um, you have Skype you have calculator I mean just random stuff uh, you also have a browser very quick just like the internet you just get right onto your TV so let's just say for example you want to you got to go to Costco today want to know what time they close click on the nearest one And here's Costco's website. They close at 6 o'clock today on Saturday. All right. And that is your Zeus streaming TV box. Again, those are the main features. There's a lot more to this box. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, you just have to sit there and play. As the box is hooked up, you're going to find that it moves faster and faster because it keeps the memory going. Um, if you decide to take this box, unplug it, move it from your bedroom to the living room, back and forth, you're going to find that it's going to have to set up, update, and it's going to take a little bit of time before you can use it like you're, like the way I'm using it now. Um, doesn't mean your box is slow or something's wrong. It just means it has to update. There's a lot of information on this box. Remember to clear your cache and um, remember to uh, use the menu button to increase the performance by getting that rocket ship up there. Um, that concludes this demonstration. I hope it was helpful. Good luck with your box and enjoy.